What up guys, Locks Low Fire on Review here today. Alright guys, I'm going to help you guys out with a question for you. A lot of you first time gun owners are asking, what is a good first gun I should buy? What is the best gun I can get for my first and only gun? And so this video here is going to be able to help you guys out um, with a top five list and some honorable mentions and one firearm I recommend to you know, women or people with a disability that have trouble manipulating the, the firearm slide. So that one is going to be also included as well. But I'm going to go with the top five in no particular order except for number one. So two through five, that's usually just thrown out there because, you know, that's what I recommend. But the number one is the one I recommend, you know, most often to people. And so if you look at this list, all these handguns in my top five fall into the compact handgun category. And so if you don't know what a compact handgun is, it's um, a, a step down from a full-size handgun. But it's typically um, nine millimeter. And well, in this case, it's, all these guns are nine millimeter. So it's a nine millimeter handgun that can hold at least 15 rounds in a flush magazine. So that's my definition of what a compact handgun is. All right. And so most of these guns, pretty much all these guns on this list are also optics ready and have a 1913 rail at the bottom or some type of rail so you can mount a light so you can use it from a home defense or a concealed carry aspect. Alright, so that's why I recommend these guns, these compact size handguns, because a compact size handgun, in my opinion, allows you to do concealed carry and home defense. You got 15 rounds in the flush magazine, which is plenty for concealed carry, and that's enough for a home defense situation if you look at statistics and how many rounds are fired in a home, uh, home defense uh, shooting situation. Um, and then also with these handguns, getting you can get multiple magazines so you got multiple 15 round magazines you're able to sustain the fight or really protect yourself from a lot of the most common threats we as civilians are going to most likely deal with and at the same time you know you want to train with this gun or if you want to use a gun for other things like you're doing armed security that fit that compact handgun can also serve as a concealed carry handgun um, a home defense handgun and a duty gun as well so I'm going to go through my list here um, of my top five, and hopefully some of these guns on this list here will help you out with your journey and the firearm you're looking to purchase. So we're going to start with number five. All right, number five. So out of all the handguns on this list, this is the only handgun I have not fired. I have fired other versions of this handgun, but not this particular handgun in question. And so what I'm coming out with is number five is our Springfield Armory Hellcat Pro OSP 9mm. Now I fired the other versions of the Hellcat Pro that were like the, the subcompact model, the smaller ones uh, that are really meant for concealed carry only. But I have not fired this OSP version which is a 15 round magazine. Um, so, but seeing the smaller handguns and seeing this handgun is basically just a bigger version of that Hellcat Pro, that subcompact. And so if it handles just the same way as that handgun, you're gonna be in good hands. But I put it at the bottom of my list because again, it's just a handgun I have not specifically fired. But that doesn't mean it's bad or anything. Um, it's just something to look at as I put the image on the screen for you to look at it. If it's something you're interested in, definitely do a YouTube University deep dive on this handgun and see if it's something that uh, is suitable for you. But at 15 rounds, optics ready out the box, able to uh, mount a light on there. Um, I think it's a good uh, entry level handgun for a first time buyer. Um, but also, it comes with some safety, so that's a no no for me. All right, moving on to number four. So, number four on our list is a handgun I have fired, and at the price point, at the top, on our top five list, this is the cheapest one on our list, but it does come with a lot of options. Um, or parts with it. Uh, this is a gun that I've, I've actually purchased you know, in the past, um, like years ago when I was first getting to my firearms journey. So I know how the handgun shoots and handles. Um, it's a reliable handgun, um, accurate handgun. Um, I love the trigger on it. I just don't like the bore axis, which is the height of the slide above the frame. Right. So what I'm talking about Coming in at number four is the Canic TP9SF Elite. So it's coming in at $429.99 listed on the Canic website. Um, so at that price point, it's the cheapest on our top five. 
and it does not really slouch in any areas. The one thing I just the thing I don't like about it is a personal thing. Nothing about it reliably um, or its accuracy or its performance lacks. Now, if you follow, you know, Nina De Flores, she's a huge Canic fan. She loves Canics, um, and so she'd be able to tell you more about this Canic. But uh, but this TP9 SF Elite, if you're looking for a first handgun, it's a great handgun. The trigger is amazing. I like the sights on the handgun. I like the grip. Um, it comes with, I think, at least two 15-round magazines. It might be three, don't quote me, because this was years ago when I bought mine. So when I bought mine, it came with two mags and a little uh, paddle holster. You can slip in your pants and have some type of holster, you know, if you're training or just to carry your handgun. Um, and I think it was... I think I had fiber optic sights. Again, don't quote me on it. It was years ago. Um, but I know the sights on the Canix are very well done. Um, the trigger is very nice on Canix. The frames are nice. The Canix look nice. They fire nice. It's just that the higher bore access, you're going to get a little bit more muzzle rise because you just have more mass on top of the gun you know, reciprocating after every round fire. But that's a personal thing. Now, if you train with it, you can be just as deadly as anybody else. And it's on my list because it is a very good handgun and at the price point it's something that I can't just not add to the list. So at that price point, if that fits in your budget, definitely check out the Canic TP9 SF Elite. Alright, number three. We're going to go with another handgun I fired. I think Eric owns his handgun. I don't know if he sold it. I think he still has it. Uh, but it's a gun I was looking at buying and somewhere, in the, you know, I got a lot of money, I would still go out and buy it, um, but I'm talking about the CZ P10C. So CZ is one of my favorite handgun manufacturers. Um, I own a CZ uh, P07 9mm. Um, I love the handgun. One of my favorite things about CZ, their handguns have a low bore access, which means when you are shooting that gun, you don't have as much mass reciprocating, so it allows you to remain flatter and stay on target a little bit better than something with a higher bore access like a Canic. Um, but CZs are known for the low bore access, the great quality, the great reliability. The triggers are amazing on CZs. Like again, CZ is probably like my favorite handgun manufacturer. If there's one manufacturer I could buy like just basically their entire catalog of handguns, it'd be CZ. The so CZ P10, CZ P10C, uh, the P07, the P01, the CZ Shadow 2, the CZ Shadow 2 Compacts, like all of them, like uh, even the CZ Set Mini 5s, like the Bs and the Cs, all all of them. Um, all right, I think I already said the CZ P01, but you know, just the entire catalog of CZs, so I can own every CZ pistol, I'd be happy. Um, so CZ is definitely one of my favorite manufacturers, um, and their quality just speaks for itself. And at the price point of Four hundred and forty-nine dollars out the box. Again, op this is the MOS, the Optics Ready version, and it does have a nineteen thirteen rail for a light. That's another price point you just can't beat, right? It's a little bit more expensive than Canic, but I think with the quality and the reliability and the craftsmanship behind CZ, that's that's you no, know, it's hard to beat, hard to beat. Okay, right? so definitely CZ P ten C. If I said if I had it for like five hundred dollars. Like, based on the pricing of this list here, this is one of the handguns I would get if I only had like $500, right? So, CZ P10C, another compact handgun, 15 rounds, 9 millimeter, um, low bore access, so it's gonna, you know, not have much muscle rise. And I can't really say enough good things about just CZ or the CZ P10C. Uh, like I said, Eric has one, you know, he can speak more on it um, and tell you more about it, but I love the handgun. I, I just don't have it. Because I don't have a real need for one. It would just be more of a want. Um, but definitely, if I got, you know, buy what I want money, then I would definitely go buy it. <laughs> Alright, so we're going to move on to number two. Alright, number two, y'all. So this handgun, um, crazy enough, it's the smallest one on our list. But it holds the most amount of ammunition in a flush magazine. Alright, pretty crazy. But you're going to pay a little bit more. It's the most expensive gun on our list. But when you can be able to have this one that's the most concealed carryable, if that's a word, 
and also the one that has the most uh, ammunition or ammunition capacity. So I'm talking about the Sig Sawyer X Macro. And so this one is another nine millimeter handgun. It's smaller than a Glock 19, so it's the smallest gun on our list. It's it's really an in between of a subcompact and a compact. It's not big enough to be a compact, like size wise, but it is bigger than a subcompact and holds way more capacity than a typical subcompact, which is like seven to ten rounds, you know. Um, so the Sig X Macro comes in at a whopping 17 rounds in a flush magazine. So 17 plus one, so 17 in the magazine, one in the chamber. That is 18 rounds in a handgun smaller than a Glock 19, smaller than a CZP-10, smaller than a Canon TP-9, and smaller than a Hellcat Pro. So with that, there's no way this gun could not be on the list. It's just one of those guns that if you're going to get it, you're going to, you know, it's going to cost some money. You know, we're talking about $669. So it's the most expensive gun on our list here. But with the ability to be small and have a lot of firepower and also optics ready, so you can get a red dot and a light for it. Um, it's really, I think, the ultimate concealed carry handgun. Um, that's where I think it truly, truly shines is in the concealed carry realm. But with a handgun that's able to have all these um, additions to it, optic, light, and all that, um, and also carry 17 rounds, one in chamber, so 18 rounds, it's also a very doable handgun defense, uh, did I say handgun? Home defense handgun, right? So it's definitely something I cannot, I could not include on the list, but you are going to pay more for it. But honestly, this is a handgun I'm going to buy to replace my current handgun, uh, my, concealed, my current concealed carry handgun setup right now, which is a Glock 43X, um, because I'm just having problems with those 15 round magazines from Shield Arms and the Palmetto State Armory. And so I'm back using the Glock OEM 10 round magazines. And so I want to definitely, you know, get something with a higher capacity. Just my preference. All right, so that's number two. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna mention three honorable mentions, well, two honorable mentions and one for people with disabilities or women who don't have a lot of upper body strength. And then we'll get into our number one spot. All right, so we have two honorable mentions. So I thought it was gonna be three, but it's two. So honorable mention number one. Now this handgun I've used in the past and it's not the best handgun, like in the top, in the, at least top fives I have, this handgun honestly is not anywhere really near these guns. But if you are on a tight budget and you need some type of reliable defense, then this is something I would recommend. Again, if you only have, what is it, three? So if you only got like $400, if you really go out into like the market, like the gun stores or a gun, uh, or a gun show, you can honestly get this gun right around $300 or even less. So $379 is like off like the tourist website manufacturer. So you know when you go out to the market, you can usually get it cheaper. It's around $250, $300. So for that type of price and the and what the gun can do for you, it's something that I will give an honorable mention for. And that's the Taurus G2C or the G3C. Now, if you're looking, for, I'd rather you get the G3C because it's a newer model. But the one I owned was the G2C. Now I had two of them. They were they all worked fine for me. Now I've heard people say their guns were these their models or their specifically their specific Taurus had issues. But for me, I've owned two of them and I've never had an issue with any of my Tauruses. Um, you know, one I think I gave actually I gave both out to family members because I bought you know, better guns. But you no, know, I gave them out to family members, and one is still in the JSO locker because it got used in the self defense shooting. Um, but for the price point, if you're just looking for, like, again, this is the cheapest gun I will recommend to somebody. I'll say it like that. This is the absolute, absolute cheapest handgun I will say, yes, trust your life to this. Because, you know, I've done it and uh, I've just seen that, like, for the most part, they work, right? But I recommend something in the top five, but. I understand your budget and everything. If you can't get this, 
I mean, if you can't get anything to get any top five, look at the Torres G2C. And I guess if you, I want to add one, um, you can go get a police trade-in handgun. See if those work. But I definitely recommend a brand new handgun, not something that's used and beat up. All right, second honorable mention. Um, so this one is for people or women who have women who don't have a lot of upper body strength, or people with certain disabilities and have trouble racking the firearm slide. This is the Smith and Wesson Easy Nine Millimeter, and it's called Easy because they have I, I can't I forget I don't, I don't know what they did with the springs and the slide, but Whatever it, wherever it was, they were able to design a way to where the spring has light tension. So when you go to pull the slide back, it requires very minimal upper body strength. And so it's very ideal for a lot of smaller frame women or people who just don't have a lot of upper body strength for whatever reason. And so I've you know, shot this handgun. I've actually recommended it to my students before because of the ability to rack the slide. It's a reliable handgun. It's Smith and Wesson, so you know you're coming from a reputable manufacturer, um, and at what five hundred and twenty nine dollars is not overly expensive, right? So again, uh, they do have thumb safety, so I know some people like manual safety, some people don't. So if you're one of those people who do, they have a version of that, and if you do like no safety, they have a version of that as well. And so that's the Smith and Wesson EZ nine millimeter. Um, and so, what we're going to do, we're going to roll into our number one pick. All right. All right, guys. I want to thank you guys for sticking around to this point of the video if you came this far. Now, I do want to say I am a firearm instructor here in Jacksonville, Florida. So, if you're looking for firearm training, you went out and you bought like one of these guns on the list. And now you're looking for the next step, which is firearms training to get proficient with that handgun. If you're near or in Jacksonville, Florida, definitely come see me. Or if you want to support the channel, make sure you hit that like, subscribe button. Or you go to the link in the description box below and you can purchase a Wagunda Nation patch. Now we're selling patches. We only got 75. So hurry up and buy them before they sell out. All right. So coming in at our number one spot, we're going to go with the most prolific 9mm compact size handgun in the world not just america but the world this handgun is well known if you've seen any rap video you've definitely seen them bouncing around and flashing in the cameras right and i'm talking about the glock 19. the glock 19 has been the most widely sold handgun in the world for years now years now glock 19 has dominated the market and for a reason Glock is not the prettiest, um, it's not the most ergonomic, um, there's definitely, you know, other guns that have more, you know, features to it, but for just the simple fact of simplicity, reliability, and efficiency, the Glock 19 has been number one, and it's for a reason, so... This is my personal Glock 19 Gen 5 that I bought when I got out the Navy around 2016. Um, and so when I got back to a, a real, like I would say, I guess back to America because I was stationed in California. Uh, and I couldn't buy this handgun because magazine capacity is one not. So I had to wait till I get back, got back to Jacksonville, Florida to buy a real American handgun. And so Glock 19 9mm. Uh, I've had this for years now. This is probably this is probably my oldest gun in my entire firearm collection. Because um, again, like I said, I got, it was one of the first handguns I've owned, and it served me through you know, concealed carry. You know, I've never had to use it for home defense, but there's situations where you know you you didn't know what was going on. So that's this is the gun I'm grabbing, right? Or I grabbed in that situation, and when I did arm security before I got my my Glock, um, my Glock 45 9 mil This was the gun I use for arm security, and so I have a long history with this Glock 19. And so the reason I put it at number one is that just the the, the sheer you know, simplicity of this handgun. Like you yourself, you can go on YouTube, you can take the gun apart, like fully take it apart and put it back together. 
if something was to break with this handgun, you can find every single part for this handgun on a quick Google search. Like, the aftermarket was really, like, re revolutionized around this handgun. Like, when Glock 19 came out and people were able to see that uh, I can add this, I can add that, I can build this, I can do that. It's, it's like a Lego. Uh, it's basically like the AR-15 of the handgun world. How you see people customize Glock 19s or customize AR-15s. You can do whatever you really want to this handgun. And it just simply works, too. Uh, right out of the box, you know, a lot of people have tell say that certain guns have to have a break-in period. Like, if you get, like, an HK VP9, they'll be like, oh, you need, like, a 500-round break-in period. Not with Glocks. You can literally take this out of the box, load a magazine, slap it in the gun, rack the slide, and put it in your pants and go. No one really questions you. Because everyone knows Glocks are literally the, the, the most reliable handgun out there. People... If you're doing a reliability test on a handgun, you are going to compare it against a Glock. Glock is number one in reliability. I don't care what nobody says. All right. Um, but another reason I put it at number one um, is the fact that you can have a 15-round flush magazine, which is somewhere around here. I'm not going to go look for it. Right? And you can use it for concealed carry. You don't have to have this big honking light like I do. I have other concealed, hearing, concealed carry handguns, so I don't need like a smaller light. I can use this X300. Um, but you can use a concealed carry with that 15 round flush magazine, or if you have other concealed carry handguns, you can use it with a X300 light with a thousand lumens. Um, it's not the MOS, so I don't have red dot, I don't really need it. Um, and then get a 33 round stick. And now you're talking about a formidable home defense handgun or home defense weapon with 33 rounds, so one chamber, so um, 34 rounds, right? So, right. Or you can get a drum, 50 round drum. And so when it comes to like, if you have one handgun, and this handgun has to serve multiple purposes, it's hard to be at a Glock 19. And for the price, on Bass Pro's website, they say 650. And that's for the Glock 19 Gen 5 MOS version, so you put a red dot on it out of the box. Um, that's six fifty. So again, you probably find it a little bit cheaper around probably six hundred if you do a little bit of research. Around six hundred, six fifty, you can get something that can do this, or you can get an older generation Glock nineteen, whether it be Gen three, Gen four, whatever, and it still does the same thing. All right, you can still get an extended mag. You still mount a light. Um, you probably have to do get a slide milled out if it's older generation. And put a red dot if you want to go that route, but you don't need it. Right, you don't need it. Light and ammunition, and you're good to go, especially for home defense, because things are going to be real close quarters, you know, in a home defense situation. So, my number one recommended handgun for a first time gun buyer is a Glock 19. So, what I want you guys to do is go down to the comment section and put down what is your top five or your number one handgun that you recommend to a first time gun buyer. So go down to the comment section and put that down there. And while you're down there, go ahead and give me a thumbs up on this video so other people can see it and this can get spread out and other people can get educated and you know, I can you know, help them out. Um, on top of that, you know, like, comment, subscribe if you enjoy the video. If you're looking for firearms training, the website is in the description box. Or if you want to buy a pack to support the channel, that will also be in the description box as well. And on top of that, guys, stay educated, stay dangerous. Box load out.